Hola, this is your girl Ambie from Linguist Girl Ambie. Bienvenido a mi canal. En este video yo voy a hablar con ustedes sobre de depression, things like that. Um, so this video will be another English speaking video. Voy a continuar en inglés ahora. So I'm going to continue in English here. I've been open about, you know, dealing with depression to you guys. Um, and like the video that I did with my welcome back video to YouTube, right? So you guys know I was depressed, severely depressed for a while. I was able to pull myself up out of the funk, right? Um, in my case, I just had to get rid of, I just had to like free myself from toxicity or is that a word, toxic, toxic people, whatever. So I had to uh, get myself out of the situation or feel better, to blossom. Something I wanted to share with you guys is different tips and different things you could do to pull yourself out of depression, to be a better you, to blossom. I'm gonna say us. I don't wanna make a difference between certain people that have this depression or this part of depression or that type of depression. We're, I'm just gonna say we, us, right? Um, some of us suffer with uh, severe depression where you're extremely sad, you, and, and it could come from a situation or it could just come from a, a chemical imbalance, right? And Sometimes you feel like you can't get out of it and you're like, why am I feeling like this? I can't pull myself out of it. But I'm here because I want to encourage you that it's definitely possible. Sometimes changing your environment is what's needed. Um, for me, it was more so a, a, having a support system. That's what was needed in order to pull me out of my funk that I was in. Um, once I was able to see, I had more supporters, more people that are like, Wait a second. We checked the receipt. We didn't buy his shit. Okay, so a lot of people were like, hey, we're here. We know who you are. And don't ever go through anything in silence, you know. I needed support in order to pull myself out of it. There are some people that just need to change their environment, right, in order to pull themselves out of depression. Then you have some people that um, possibly have to change their diet. Now, why I say that is because certain people suffer from depression simply because their diet isn't correct um, and that was something new I hadn't heard that before until I went to flight attendant training about five years ago and someone that was in my training class said that her daughter suffered really bad with depression and it wasn't until she went vegan and I was thinking like what you blaming veganism on, <laughs> on her you know depression it just wasn't making sense until my counselor actually confirmed but this was a counselor back then confirmed that certain vitamins that you lack or certain nutrition that you lack in your diet can cause a chemical imbalance and it can cause you to be depressed. So that's worth looking up, you know. So having a balanced diet can help with depression. Um, changing your environment can help with depression. It's easier said than done. Like, I know some people are just like, just go out, just do something, just have fun. But it's hard to do that when you're suffering, right? And I'm a prime example. I couldn't even get on here to do a video to save my life. It's because I was simply uh, suffering from depression. It was extremely bad. Granted, did it come out of nowhere? No, it was a situation that caused it. And, um, but I was able to pull myself out of it. So you just have to know what is it that what is it that make you tick? What is something that makes you vibrant, joyful? What is that? When you find that, it's like you stick to it and you do it, and that'll help you with the depression. Um, easier said than done. Easier said than done for sure, because you have a lot of individuals that'll tell you like you just need to go out and do this or do that, and they don't understand when you're depressed you can't go out it's like you're trapped so it's not just like you get up it's one two three i'm up and i'm gonna do this today i'm not gonna be depressed it don't work that way and people aren't doctors so they can't tell you that um one of my friends one of my good friends he's a surgeon right he's an er physician and we're close <laughs> and he pretty much he broke it down to me better than anybody uh, that, that I've ever talked to before. He said that it was a, a balanced thing. Or he explained to me how um, you have depression, seasonal depression. You have people that go through depression because of the seasons change. You can go through depression after someone passed away. That's like a situation. In my case, I was going through a situation and that caused my depression. You have bipolar depression, you have minor depression, you have severe depression, you have all types, right? Let's say you have a teenager 
that they're always in their room granted we have social media they have video games we know you get hooked on things right but a lot of times addictions come from depression and that's another thing like uh, your medical doctor could tell you that but if you speak to like a professional they'll tell you that so it's not like oh this person's a drunk for no reason nine times out of ten they became drunk because they were depending on another outlet and they're usually suffering from some sort of depression something happened right that would be like situation depression I guess what my friend would refer to so if you have a teenager in your household they're probably throwing themselves into video games all the time like they literally want to do nothing else sometimes they could be depressed they could be going through something where they're shutting down, they're not talking to someone else. And their only healthy escape is the video game. In my case, I like to eat food. I think I like to eat food when I'm happy, sad, excited. I'm just an emotional eater, right? So I've learned to slow it down. And I'm still learning how to slow it down because I'm a martial artist and I don't need to be moving slow because I can't control what's on my mouth. So it's in my case though, if I go through depression, I'm eating everything I see. Like anything in my vision, I'm eating it. And it's because it makes me feel better. So I become addicted to food, right? So um, it's important to like know, you have to first identify, wait a second, I'm overeating. Wait a second, I'm glued to this game all day, every day. What am I trying to run from, you know? Um, wait a second i'm smoking cigarettes now now i'm smoking 10 packs a day or i don't know what cigarette smokers do i don't know if it's one pack two pack, two packs i'm not sure but you have to identify that the depression first right so once you identify that something's wrong you're able to fix it it was important for me to do this video because a lot of stuff stemmed from my why I came back YouTube video or my return to YouTube video if you haven't seen it definitely go watch it but a lot of people reached out to me and they were saying how they were experiencing depression they were dealing with a narcissist and all type of stuff right and I'll respond back I'll email back like you gotta do this you gotta do that but the tip that I can give you all is Find, first identify that there's a problem once you realize there's a problem you have to seek help there's nothing wrong with seeking help um i can tell you to do it this way but that don't mean that way is going to work for you because it worked for me so the best advice i could give on if you're dealing with depression is to seek a professional seek for professional guidance talk to a professional because they're going to be the ones that's able to um guide you in the right direction now when it comes to medicine because that's the big elephant in the room um people have this misconception they automatically think everybody that's depressed and that see a doctor are automatically on drugs not the case not the case even though i suffered from depression in the past um i never took medicine i never had to i was able to identify what was triggering my depression and once I identified that, I was able to fix it. You know, even like years ago, like uh, something devastating happened in my life and I had to deal with immigration, a uh, family member got deported. It was like, oh, it was the worst time. This was years ago. I've never even talked about it on my platform, but it was the worst experience. I probably, well, I'm not gonna say the worst. <laughs> Because boy, oh boy, this last year, it ain't the worst. However, it was something very devastating. Um, dealing with immigration. And I just remember it put me into a depression like never before. And it was hard to get off that funk. It was really bad, you know. It just depends. Like how I dealt with that situation then, I was able to find things that made me happy and to get me out of it. I started doing YouTube videos, right? I started talking about the languages that I speak. I created a platform without talking about the immigration issue, but I was able to just dive into something that I love to do. Fast forward to today. Recently, you know, the way I pulled myself out of this depression was totally different than how I did it 10 years ago, okay? It was, it was more so of a support system that I was seeking, and I ended up getting that, like, floodingly got the support that I needed. I decided to come back to YouTube to use my platform to help other people. You know, and that's not gonna change. You know, 
um, we grow out of certain situations into better situations, into different situations. My channel, I plan on making it a bigger platform where I talk about a variety of different topics too. My last video, I'm talking about narcissists, how to avoid narcissists, the signs to look for, even sharing content from the YouTuber Hario. He, his whole channel is about narcissists. He knows his stuff. He knows his stuff and he's really good at his crap like he understands the brain of a narcissist by the way i think he do personal one-on-one -on -one sessions i'm gonna be booking a session with him even if it's just to say hello you are sent from god because you have no idea you preach it to the choir stuff like that like how he uses his platform to help people i definitely want to use my platform to help people i wouldn't be doing right if i didn't right i was blessed with this platform i have to use my voice to help so i wanted to just pretty much tell you guys how to get out of depression yeah that's pretty much it guys and i definitely want to thank you all so much for watching this video i am i will be uploading more often for right now i'm just uploading like a video every two weeks maybe a video a week we'll see i broke my camera so i'm using my sister camera right now but um if you're someone who suffered from depression definitely comment below i want to read what are the things that you do to help lift your spirits comment below so that other people can see like what it is that you do because we're all about helping people we want people to have resources etc and i'm also going to leave a phone number here it's like a helpline so if you ever feel depressed you could call this line it's different organizations that help you um even like with your insurance and stuff so nonetheless before we get out of here this video is sponsored by Cura Cura all natural moisturizing anti-itch eczema relief the good thing about Cura is this is owned by a, a black business black female entrepreneur and guys she makes this herself literally handmade she works so hard i love her to death i know her personally and um this is a cream for anti-itch people with eczema who suffer with eczema i personally don't um my daughters don't so lucky for you if you know anybody that suffer with eczema comment below also you're gonna get a free cream okay i can tell you right now once you use this you're gonna be buying some more the reviews are amazing so again this is kira so to enter the contest to win a free kira cream to try it out you have to follow them on instagram which will be in the description box below also you will need to leave a comment below saying that you know someone with eczema or if it's you okay that's it that's the rules of this game follow them on instagram leave a comment below 2020 i mean we all about supporting black businesses so you guys are going to see a lot of me uh promoting different black female entrepreneurs businesses okay so that's you're going to see a lot of that on this channel and definitely check them out kira Thank you all so much for watching. Gracias por ver este video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.